Alaska is known as the last frontier of America. It's an amazing destination for food, culture, and of course, outdoor adventures. And we're going back. Hi everyone, John here with In The Loop Travel. Thanks for checking in. Yes, we're going back to one of our favorite destinations, Alaska. And we'll be sailing with Uncruise Adventures to experience the very best of this state on a voyage from Juneau to Sitka. I wanted to share with you our packing tips for an Alaskan sailing adventure. We're going in May. What's it like in springtime in Alaska? Will it rain? Will it be sunny? Will it be cold or warm? The answer to all these questions? Yes. You have to be prepared for all of these conditions. And with that in mind, here's what we will pack for our cruise to Alaska. One quick note, while we're packing for an expedition sailing, we hope this will effectively help you pack for most cruises to Alaska. First, Pack lots of layers that you can easily add or strip off. Weather in Alaska is somewhat unpredictable. We've been there when it's been 75 degrees and sunny, and when it's in the 30s and wet, sometimes on the same trip. We're packing thermal base layers, button-down long sleeve shirts, and short and long sleeve wicking athletic shirts. Most of our gear wicks moisture and dries quickly. My wife likes leggings and trail pants that fit right over the top. I pack several pairs of trail pants, which have zip pockets to keep items secure and easily accessible when I'm out on the trail or in a kayak, for example. One thing you can usually count on in Alaska is rain, especially in May. And once you get wet, you're bound to feel chilly until you have a chance to get back out of the rain. It's important to pack a good raincoat and rain pants. These have saved our skin many times. So staying dry is key, but you also need to pack a few items to keep you warm. Fleece pullovers and vests are excellent for springtime expeditions in Alaska. And parkas tend to be overkill during this time of year. Basically, we aim for streamlined items that can fit under our rain gear. We also pack gloves that will shed water, winter hats, wool socks, and scarves. And we use hiking shoes rather than boots because they provide the best trail traction for us and take up less space in our suitcases. Rubber boots are great to bring if you can afford the space in your luggage, but Uncruise carries rubber boots, also known as Alaskan sneakers, on board the ships, and they lend these to cruisers who want the ultimate waterproof protection for their feet. As much as rain can be a factor in Alaska, the sun can also make regular appearances, especially in springtime. So we pack baseball caps, sunglasses, and plenty of sunscreen. Here's a tip. If you're packing carry-on only, use a solid stick sunscreen rather than a cream so you can reduce your liquids that you'll carry on. I also like to bring a gator or two. Now these versatile items keep my neck covered, can be pulled up to protect my bald head, and keep my face covered for added warmth or UV protection. Or they can be used for a wipe, napkin, or cooling cloth when dipped in water. And don't forget a swimsuit, too. Our ship has plenty of hot tubs that we plan to use regularly. You'll also want a backpack that serves as your day pack for when you're out on excursions. You'll use this to carry all the items that you need during your time ashore, such as snacks, lunches, binoculars, camera equipment, water, sunscreen, or maybe extra clothes for when the weather changes. That takes care of the basics. You don't need anything fancy while on board an expedition sailing, so keep it simple and bring casual attire and boat shoes for when you're on board the ship. So these clothing items are what we'll comfortably live in all week while we hike, bike, kayak, and snorkel through the various places we stop, as well as enjoying our time on board with our fellow cruisers. We also pack a little extra gear when we go to Alaska. Key among those items are dry bags, designed to keep our gear from getting wet. On Uncruise, you'll visit a lot of places via Zodiac boats, so water spray and wet landings are always a possibility. Also, bring water bottles. Uncruise and other expedition lines will likely provide you a bottle, but we find having an extra bottle is great for filling up while in transit to Alaska and for your trip back home, as well as having a second bottle when you're out hiking so you can stay plenty hydrated. Also, bring some kind of comfort kit in case you have to go while out on the trail. We have discovered TP kits. This brand offers all you need in their convenient little kits. And another must for us are binoculars. We love having our own pair for spotting all the wildlife you'll see in Alaska, including whales, bears, eagles, and more. 
And don't forget your camera gear, of course, and all the charges you need for your equipment and phones. Alaska is a prime destination for wildlife and landscape photography. We also bring a battery power bank, so we have portable power when out on long daily excursions. I hope this all helps you get ready for your expedition cruise in Alaska. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, please, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. We've got some cool videos coming from our Sailing with Uncruise adventures, so be sure to check them out.